threat and military action will not solve the problem or stop Biafran agitation. Biafrans to federal government. That is it. That is not the best solution or the best way to stop the Biafrans. And it can't even stop the Biafrans. Biafran freedom and pursuit is not today's pursuit. It is a long time pursuit. The earlier the federal government begin to know that Biafran pursuit is as old as this country, Nigeria, the better. Deploying military to the southeast will not solve the problem or will not palm down the agitation. Instead, it will even fuel it the more. The youth have made up their mind. They have crossed their mind. And that is why when you look at it very well, you will see that these very uh, youths agitating for Biafran freedom are far, far different. Far, far different from the other Biafran agitators in 1967. And if you look at the approach that they are using, it's very, very different from every other approach. And that is what we don't know. Okay. The leadership of the movement for the actualization of the sovereign state of Biafra, Maso, told President Mohamed Buhari led federal government to be ready for wolf and foul cry over the struggle for self-determination, saying threat and military actions would not solve the problem. Maso told the president that the activities of the Fulani Boko people and Fulanistic cabals that negatively influence his administration are a major cause of Nigerian flight to disintegration, which he ought to urgently tackle rather than issuing threats to self-determination agitators. The federal government of Nigeria is now crying the cries of Biafrans. We are happy that our oppressors is being oppressed by their own machinations. He who laughs last, laughs best. According to Masop leader, Comrade Uchenna Mado, Masop and other pro-Biafran agitators will continue with our principle of non-violence to bury the remaining carcasses of Nigeria. On its own, the Chidi Ibi led Ohaneze Ndibo called on the Boris government to change tactics and hold a round table meeting with agitators. The group, through its Secretary General Isiguzoro Okechuku, promised to assist federal government to bring all Biafran agitators to a round table discussion and negotiations. We hopefully expect them to grab this rare opportunity and talk with them. The best approach is to change tactics and strategies in dealing with secessionist threats rather than resorting to an eye for an eye. Federal government should know what is good for the goose is also good for the gander. It is not fair to use carrot and stick policy for bandits and Boko people members in the north and use brutal forces against agitators in the south. Negotiations are the best approach for rebuilding trust and confidence among agitating groups. Incarceration and military actions are outdated weapons used to win the battle against secessionist threats. Thank you 
for listening to this news. Hmm. My dear viewers, you see, this is this is what we have been lamenting, and this is what we have been saying, and this is what I've earlier said that the approach the federal government is using to um, challenge and request for uh, a stop on the Biafran freedom is not the best approach. And even the move that the federal government is taking is a very late move because there is no way, there is no way the Biafrans can stop the agitation because the Biafran freedom is already at the door of actualization. How possible can that be? A republic that is already at the door of actualization, a republic that almost 120 countries has already endorsed and waiting for, 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 for their actualization, huh? a republic that is already set for freedom. What are you saying? What are you saying? Damn. My dear viewers, it can never be true. Biafrans are already absolute in the pursuit and their minds are already made up. Their minds are already made up. So no going back. And I support them on this move. Because you cannot tell them to back out when the move has already been made. When the door of freedom is already opened. Look at, despite all the intimidation, intimidation, harassment, you know, criticism, marginalization, as we speak, America has just thrown their own support to the person. And some other advanced countries like that, thank God that despite the bad names that has been given to Pierre France, nobody ever believed the federal government. Nobody ever believed them. Nobody. You see that? So that is that. So, my dear viewers, I, I look up to your opinion. I look up to your idea and your opinion. Whatever it is, deem it fit to at least come in and air your own opinion. Let's hear you. Let's know what you have to say concerning all of this. Let's feel you. What do you have to say? How do you feel over this whole thing? So don't forget to leave them below the comment box. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.